So the new version of Chrome OS that is 120 is out and if you are using the branch framework and have installed it either in single boot or dual boot then watch the video till the end to know how you can update it to the latest version. So first of all let's explore what's new in this version. So now for the mouse settings we have some new options and we can swap the left and right buttons and also some new options for the cursor and the scrolling. So now we have some advanced options for that and also for the keyboard we have some new shortcuts that we can create. So this is really useful for the windows users who are switching to the chromebooks. So definitely a welcome feature. Now we also have options for the repeated keys. So if you press and hold a key you can uh, customize what it does. Now we also have the settings for touchpad acceleration. So it may fix some issues if you had any previously. Now if you go to the manage app section you will notice some new settings if you click on any app and now we see some of the app details which tells us where the app was installed the source of the app and you can directly go to that source for this example the google play store we can also enable or disable the option to keep the app in either phone or tablet mode for example the instagram app or something it may run more optimized in the mobile mode and here you can see that it says this is a web app so you know that this is not an application now another important feature update was the option to share to yourself so if you click on the need by share you'll see your device which is the phone in my case and you can instantly share without the need to accept on that device so you need to be signed in with the same account on both device for this to work and you also need to enable a flag which i will show you at the end so this is a really important feature and it was a must update now moving on we have the biggest update here which is about the desks now we can enable this desk by right click and we can see here by default it will be hidden just enable it to see all the desk right here and if for example here you can see there are two desks and you can also control it via the keyboard shortcuts and it just uh, by default renames it desk1, desk2 and desk3 and up above if you just scroll like uh, slide up with your three fingers on this uh, touchpad you can see uh, you can view your uh, desktops this is how this interface looks and you can easily switch between all your desktop without any issues uh, but what i have noticed is that if you are in another desktop and if you click on the app that is opened up in a previous desktop it will switch back to that desktop so that is there you can also save the desk for later so if you have a group of applications that are opened up you can just save them together for example you can see that it says here desk one now again using your three finger gesture you can open up and you see this icon here just click on it and it will show your save desk and you can simply click and open it up and it has automatically renamed it as text one and in the brackets one and your all your application that you have opened up will be available for you definitely a helpful feature for work related or personal work you can save a group of applications and rename it to uh, for better organization now if you want to close the application you can simply hover and click on the close icon you also have the option to combine two desks together so you can just click on that icon and all the applications will be combined together in one desk so before when you snap the window at one end of the screen you have to choose manually which applications you have to snap to the other side and this would get really difficult if you have a lot of applications opened up in the background but with this new update if you do the same thing um, it will prompt you to select an application automatically so it gets really easy if you have a lot of applications opened up in the background and makes the multitasking quite easy so a really much needed update uh, if you have used ipad we have this option there also in the tablets as well so another change is regarding the cosmetic looks of the media player and this is how it looks right now so what you need to do is go to the flags and then enable this option regarding the global media controls and then enable and restart once you do that you will notice this the new overall of the media player and if you use the android 13 device we have the same wave design for the uh, progress bar and we can also access the cast options for your smart home devices so these are the chrome os flags that you need to enable to access some of the features that I've shown in this video. Now let's move on to how to update your Chrome OS. 
So when you boot, choose the Chrome OS settings. Now on this screen, press enter to continue. And again press enter to keep the kernel as default. Now on this screen, use your arrow key and on the PWA, press your spacebar to select this option. And after that, just keep on pressing enter and skip everything. Do not press spacebar, just keep on pressing enter. And finally, you will just press enter and it will reboot. Now visit this website and in the branch updater, just click on the install the latest version and it's going to download and install the latest branch version that is available. And after a while you will see this screen so just reboot to update the branch version similarly you need to come back here and then click on the chrome os updater and then click on the install the latest chrome uh, like chrome os recovery and similarly it's going to take a long time because it's going to download and then install it and finally you can just restart to update your chrome os so that was the complete method of how you can update your branch as well as chrome os to the latest version so that was it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.